What, three false ones? I'm gonna Hi everyone, so me and Sophie are gonna be filming a video today where we make gingerbread houses and we're gonna compete against each other on who can make the best one. But Should we see if they're whole? Yeah, Ooh. there is a risk that one of these is broken because I did drop them. <laughs> so I'm holding my fingers crossed and we just went to the shops to get some icing and some decorations to put on them but we're gonna melt some sugar because we're gonna use sugar to glue them together because apparently that's what works best it's the moment of truth <gasps> oh, i no. knew it oh no i'm sorry but we can glue that together quite easily what do you think? yeah open this one. <laughs> oh no i think this one's probably gonna be hard <gasps> Oh no! Looks like something Are you serious? Why well. my life? Have I come? Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! Look at that! Look at that! Why you see? Oh! Are we even gonna do this? What's that then? Are you serious? Oh. This seems like Mission Impossible right now. We'll try and glue them together and then we'll come back to you when we're done. This could take a while. Wait, let's see. So, this is how broken they are. Sophie's pieced them together. And now we're attempting to melt some sugar. Oh no! Mission Impossible complete. Oh. Ow. Today I'm here with my sister Sophie. I'll put her Instagram name here somewhere. And today we're going to be decorating gingerbread houses. You saw the struggle because they were all broken. So we've. Oh my freaking god! It's blinking now. The battery's going to die soon. Can't we plug it into the wall? No, because the... you have to take the battery out to plug it in. <laughs> no, 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 no. Should we just do it as long as it goes and then we're gonna have to carry on a different later on? Yeah, okay. It's everything that could go wrong. Should we show what we've got? Yeah, we've got so, stars, these, and we've got red, pink, and white icing. Icing. And Smarties. And Smarties. So, let's go then. Oh, I need to Google some ideas for myself. I thought you said you were going to not copy anyone. I'm not going to copy anyone, but I want to get some inspiration like you do. Alright, let's just, let's just go. Let's just do it. Your life motto. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> Mine is to like, see the positive in everything, I guess. So, it's kind of almost the same, isn't it? No. Well, did she bought your merch, someone said. No. And no, she didn't, so... Unsupportive here. I don't even know where to buy a merch or anything. So. Uh, you can easily Google it. I've got it linked in every single one of my videos and I've got it linked on my Instagram in a highlight. Oh, this is pink. Yeah. What? It, is it jelly? Doesn't matter. It'll probably harden. It's not as pretty. So, guys, <laughs> I look just bad now. <laughs> Pardon? before it's gone like two hours we've been charging my camera also i don't know about this angle we're not in the middle i feel like it should be more this way what do you think yeah oh, no. <laughs> i got it even more dirty now by the way buy my merch <laughs> what have i done i've messed up even more now i hate my life <laughs> also we carried on with one side because we we thought it was going to take ages to do this and i think it is well i was scared that these were going to run out and then we would be like yeah so we've done it and then we've got nothing to show you everything that could go wrong did go wrong no no we could not yet them again actually that's probably gonna happen <laughs> How, uh, how to deal with stress or anxiety around Christmas. Never felt that emotion. <laughs> Never experienced that emotion. I don't really get that stressed often. Well, it's because we've had a quite a good Christmas. Like, we've never had to struggle with any, like, family problems on Christmas or anything. So that's why we... We're privileged. Yeah, so, I don't know. 
just know that you're not alone there are so many other families that have problems on christmases and it's only the happy people that share like on social media okay that came out so wrong like i don't mean that it automatically means that you're happy if you share your Christmas on social media because obviously it's so easy to fake a facade, a facade, I don't know what to call it, or to fake happiness or a perfect life on social media. So don't believe in everything you see and everyone has their own struggles and problems. I think money is quite boring to get, but I guess yeah. it's fun to get if you don't have any money. <laughs> but I don't, don't know that feeling either. <laughs> No, but I've always been working, so I've never, like, had that much of a struggle because I'm quite good at saving my money as well. Yeah, me too. Or I I never buy anything. Like, You're worse than me. <laughs> like, I'm worse than mum. I thought I was, like, never bought anything, but if I compare to Sophie, then I'm not that bad because I can splurge at times. And, like, Aren't I... you quite a shopaholic? No, not if you yeah. compare to my friends. Like I said, my friends buy stuff every week online, basically, and they never have any money left because they always spend it. Uh, this is not a dragging my friends video. <laughs> yeah, I do however spend a lot of money on food. That is something that I'm quite bad at. Like, I always, I'm like, I can't spend 200 krona on a shirt, but I can spend like 200 krona on sushi and be like, I need it. Right. Oh, I don't know what to do. Next, Next question. Don't copy me. I'm not going to copy you. I don't want to copy you. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> 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 Any tips for learning English or other languages? Uh, go to the country. Yeah. We're privileged. We're privileged. We're privileged. Yeah, yeah. So. No, I think the best way to learn it language is to visit the country. But Probably, otherwise. but if you don't have enough maybe, money for that. Maybe like think... watching a series in the language and having subtitles in your your language. Mm. Could maybe. be quite annoying not to know what they're saying. No, but but... You, oh, you're... What is it? What is it? Is it breaking? Is it breaking? So your smarties were moving. <gasps> I was gonna say download the app. This isn't sponsored, by the way, but there's an, a language app called Duolingo, and I had that for a bit because I wanted to learn Spanish, but then I got bored of it. But it's a really easy and good app. A set time. <laughs> oh, darkness, oh, my old <laughs> what we said wasn't allowed to happen happened. We can not yet. Yeah, again, that's probably gonna happen. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm doing it. I wonder who's gonna win. Well, we'll see on Instagram, shall we? It's impossible to do this side of it. I think maybe you have to go down. No, I'm not gonna do that. Too much effort. It's kind of tacky. Mine's like tacky. Mine's like. Greta and what's it called? Ansel and Greta. Gretel. No. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think this side of my house is done. I'm gonna reveal it. I'm gonna do the other side now. Oh, childhood. I was like lonely. I. I just. <laughs> lonely. I just I'm so made long. up my own games with like my dog and. What? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> well, you played in the woods. But you had me. Did you play in the woods by yourself? Yeah. What? Yeah. Why? I used to walk around like taking <laughs> <laughs> climbing trees and stuff. By yourself? Making videos and I had something called the Scoot Olympics. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was <laughs> It was uh, my Olympic game <laughs> on my scooter. <laughs> what? <laughs> And I used to film it, and I think I've still oh, got filmed. Oh my god, can we and see that? Do you remember I need to that, see that headset thing I had? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was like uh, you talked into it, and it, then it oh, played different talking? music. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I used to use that because I, I was all of the characters in my <sighs> Scoot Olympics. Oh, I just oh you made it. little films? Yeah. Oh my god. And I pretended to be different people, and it, I was always named after our animals. You should put it on YouTube. I no. want to see them. Where do you have them? I think I've got it on my old computer, but I don't know where. Yeah, you wanted so to have weird. a YouTube channel, I think. But no, I don't think I did. Didn't you? No, I just think I wanted to edit it and watch it myself. <laughs> you were teasing me because you were like, I want a YouTube channel. And I didn't want you to get a YouTube channel because I wanted oh, yeah. it to be my thing. And someone asked me on Instagram why I didn't have a YouTube yeah. channel and I said because you didn't let me. <laughs> yeah. Then you got really angry at me <laughs> for saying that. I don't know if I was, I didn't have that many friends, but... You had more friends than I did. I was quite happy to 
make YouTube videos by myself and hang out at home. Yeah, so was I. What games did you make then? I don't know, with, with Bella I used to, oh. I made up a game that I wrote down in a little notebook but I can't remember it now, but it was like with a ball or something. I was such a weird child, I used to make up my own songs as well. Me too. But I didn't film them. I, I had just... a song book. Guess what I did once that was really weird. What? Well, you know this because you helped me. Oh. Okay, number one thing. I was really obsessed with Miley Cyrus. So I wanted to be Hannah Montana. I had a photo shoot where I dressed up exactly like I took the most things I had that looked like what Miley Cyrus had. And I posed exactly <laughs> like her. Did it? With a red was background. It? And I still have one of the pictures from that. It's in my room at home. Didn't I take the pictures? You took the pictures. I forced you to take them all. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I wanted to be Hannah Montana so bad that I put a wig on and sang a cover and uploaded it to YouTube because oh I didn't want anyone god. to know that it was me. Oh my god. Uh, I, I've tried to find it. I hope it's not still on YouTube because that would be embarrassing. And we used to play lots of like Littlest Pet Shop and stuff. Mm. I'm Brat. And Moxie or whatever they were mm. called. Yeah, when Brats, they stopped selling Brats, I was so sad. But then they started selling Moxies. And they so I started collecting those. Mm -hmm. And Stardoll, oh my god. Stardoll was the shit. <laughs> you remember that time I threw oh you my. into it? Because you wanted to sit in the chair and play Stardoll, but I was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and I took, took you and threw you off. <laughs> and you start, I threw you into the sofa. And in I, the table. Yeah. <laughs> and you started crying and I was like no. I'm not crying <laughs> And you wouldn't stop so I ran out and hid in the bushes Because <laughs> you didn't want to get told off <laughs> I remember that <laughs> So mean How could I even throw you into the table? I remember once when you said that mum loved you more than me <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> she loved me <laughs> And I got so sad <laughs> and I started crying and I said that to mum <laughs> and you were like, no I didn't mean it like that <laughs> and you said, I just meant it that she's loved me longer because <laughs> yeah. I'm old. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I thought I was trying to joke with you. Say something. Me. I'm giving up on you. <laughs> okay, have you got any questions to ask yourself? What is the meaning of life? I'm done with my side, so I can reveal my masterpiece. Brace yourself. This is it. Nothing extraordinary. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't move my thumb. Oh, but you said you didn't take this so seriously. <laughs> when did I say that? I take this dead seriously. You said that in the beginning. I'm, I'm going, going to win. You said Ah, oh, how old are you? I'm 19, believe it or not. I'm 16, believe it or not. Which celebrity once had a crush on you? Probably what celebrity? Yeah, had. what is this for Christian? I've had a crush on Chandler Riggs from The Walking Dead. <laughs> the last celebrity crush was Freddie Highmore. Who's that? From him that's in Spiderwick and he's in Bates Motel. I was like in love with him when I was like, <laughs> six years old. And the guy in Peter Pan. Oh yeah, I love the guy in yeah. Peter Pan. Oof. <laughs> so you like blondes? Yeah. By the looks of it. <laughs> but I don't really... I don't really care about hair colour, but I think I like... I don't care to ...prefer brown hair. But I don't know. Depends I on just who it's on. happen to end up with blondes, I guess. When did you have your first date? I don't know. I... Don't know. Sipping the tea. <laughs> I want to know yours though. I don't know. I was probably like, I don't know if I had a date. 13 or 14, I don't know. Do know. Or oh, I remember I had one it, when I was in like, was I in 7th grade or 8th? Not grade, but Swedish. It was really awkward. With who? <laughs> I think we went to the movies and then we went to have a fika. I was gonna say, I guess I've never been on a date with someone that I haven't been together with, but. You yeah, don't know. Uh, maybe I have. I don't. I don't know if it counts as a date or not. What was it? Uh, someone from Tinder. Ah! When? Like, oh my God, was it this year? Or was it last year? Who was it with then? What did you do? I. Uh, we walked around. <laughs> he came from. 
We went to Dad's afterwards, but he was what? only there for a few, like two hours or something. Why? I don't know, because his friend wanted him to go back or something. Why Why didn't you uh, meet again then? Because I didn't want to. Was he weird? <laughs> a little bit. Oh, no, well, he wasn't really. I was just a bit... I got a bad feeling afterwards. I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. See if I've had any bad Tinder dates. Have you got on a Tinder date? Yeah. What? Well, actually, I've only been on one Tinder date, actually. It's his me. name was... He's dead now. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like, like his name was. <laughs> I thought he, meant he was dead. No. I was like, what? <laughs> no, actually, it wasn't that bad. But who has the tidiest room? Me. Yeah. A hundred. Gonna have to give you that one. <laughs> <laughs> I just never find the time to tidy my room. Why the fuck you lying? Yours is very colourful. Excuse me, <laughs> mine's very creative. Um, <laughs> very arto. No one else is like this. There's only one. Which sport are you good at? I'm not good at Nothing. any sport. I suck at everything like that. Me too. I'm quite right, good at so badminton if I can say so myself. But I'm not good, I just think I'm good. Candy cane with a wild pack. What are your hobbies? Just hanging out with your friends, Carl? Yeah. Well, I like painting with, and I like drawing. I Someone know. said, can you make more videos with Sophie? Does oh. she have a YouTube channel? I don't have a YouTube channel. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My hobbies are obviously YouTube, uh, hanging out with friends, uh, Probably my favourite one at the moment, which is probably why YouTube has been slacking because I've never really seen YouTube as a job and I don't like to put... I take it seriously, but I just don't take it that seriously. Like, I just do it because I find it fun. And I'm gonna be honest and say that. <laughs> I still, like, love doing YouTube and I'm gonna carry on. Are you emotional or rational? I don't know what I mean. Rational. rational is when you... Set when you emotional. use your head. <laughs> when I use my head. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, like, emotional oh. is when you're steered by your emotions and rational is when you think more logically think like follow your brain instead of your heart I, kind of. I don't know deep. I don't <laughs> follow your brain instead of your heart I guess okay, I'm, I'm, I'm very cold. emotional I cry at everything do you yeah I'm such a cry baby <laughs> but it's not like I cry if I like stub my toe and <laughs> things like that but if in a film of like a, yeah. a dog dies it can be an animated Aww. dog I'll cry <laughs> And like, if I think yeah. about it later, I'll try again. <laughs> what? Yeah. I cried to Sotropolis. What? On the plane. I cried twice to Sotropolis <laughs> on the plane to America. <laughs> and it's not even sad. I cried when the fox get gets bullied. <laughs> and then in the end when it was happy. Yeah, I always cry when things are happy or when they're like yeah. nice. Yeah, I, I have a lot of like, tears of joy. I don't know. It's not like tears of joy, it's tears of how nice it, how yeah, beautiful um, it is. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I've never had like tears of joy, I don't think. Oh, I have. I never get Sometimes that happy. Sometimes I just cry <laughs> without any, I don't know, without meaning to cry. Yeah. I'm just like, why am I crying? <laughs> but I'm not sad, it's just, it could be to something that's like a bit nice, but not that nice. Have you seen the new Mowgli film on Netflix? No. There's an animal that dies in it and I cried. <laughs> and then I thought about it later that night and I cried again. And then the next day I told it to my friend and I cried again. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm definitely an emotional person as well. Like, I, I always know what's right to do in my head, but then I won't do it because I don't want to, you know? Like what? An example? I don't know. Like, for example, oh. I have no willpower. Like, uh, if I want to eat healthy, I'll be like, no, I don't want to. But then in my head, I'm like, you should, because you'll probably feel much better. What three common things are common between you and your siblings? What three common things are common? Um, we're quite short, I guess. Yeah. Quite shy. Well, I don't know if yeah. I count myself as shy, actually. Just quite like, reserved. I'm... <laughs> I'm, I get really awkward the first, or when I meet someone that I'm not really that close to, I'm like, <laughs> hey. And then I come off really bitchy, but I just don't dare say anything. I think um, of loads of things I want to say, but I don't dare to because I'm like, they're probably going to think that's really weird. Or um, I don't, I'm not like that shy anymore. I used to be quite shy. Yeah, like, I've gotten better as I'm well. better when meeting new people, especially when I'm alone with new people, because then I can like ask them questions and be like, yeah, fake it. 
know. I don't know. I'm always more shy uh, if I'm talking to boys, though. Yeah, I do you know why I think. Why? I think it's because we don't have a brother. <laughs> a brother. Because yeah. I've noticed Probably. girls that have brothers are way better at talking to boys than people <laughs> that don't have than girls that don't yeah, have brothers. Probably. Like even if it's like the ugliest. No, not the ugliest boy ever. <laughs> no, even if it's someone that I don't find good looking or anything, I'll still be like really awkward and be like, oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, e even like or my friend Hugo, who's a boy, he's like the first male. I haven't friend had I've a friend had. that's a boy my whole life. No, I haven't had that either. So, really? and it took way longer for me to get comfortable <laughs> with him than it did to, to with my girl friends yeah. that I met at the same time. I've always wanted to have a, have a friend that's a boy. Well, actually, I kind of do, but it's not like we hang out with each other. Wait, that was only two things we had in common, short and shy. Our voice sounds the same, apparently. Yeah, We're both English. quite, like, creative, I guess. Yeah, in our own little way. I'm stubborn, I'm really stubborn. Yeah, you're really- I'm not stubborn at all, actually. Aren't you? Uh, so, yeah. if it's like an argument and you know you're right, you're like, oh, well, you can think that you're right, but... Yeah, because I don't like arguments. Because even if I know I'm right, I'll doubt myself if someone else is really like oh, sure of themselves. Yeah, I will too, but I won't <laughs> show it. I'll be like, no, I'm 100% sure that I'm right, until no, they give up. But I always, sometimes I get like busted and they prove that they're right, and then it's really embarrassing, so I don't want to do that. That's true, but that's happened so many times that I've got away. I just but laugh then, it away. But I think <laughs> the, the boost or like the feeling you get when you're right and the other person's wrong. <laughs> Undescribable. I don't know, I just feel no, like I'm a mean sure. person when I do that. Yeah, so I, I do too, <laughs> but I can't stop. <laughs> I have some friends like that, I, and my friends are like that too, so we're like, mm. we get really mean to each other and mad at each other, but it's funny. Who is good secret keeper? <laughs> I don't know, I'm a good secret keeper. I'm actually a really good secret I won't tell anyone if someone... I'm a good secret keeper. Are you a good liar? No, can't lie. I can lie I don't. I, I don't see the point in lying either, because it's like, it will always come out. Yeah kind of concerning how worried Sophie looks at this point. And then people will, then it will be like karma because then you'll be viewed as a fake person and that's not yeah, worth that's it. Yeah, that's true. So don't lie kids. No. Because I hate people who lie and it's so obvious when they I lie. I hate it's like, when people oh, lie as well. Are you um, com competitive? I think I secretly am. Yes. <laughs> but I, I tell everyone that I hate um, com yeah! competitions because I don't do want to lose. You used to do that when you were little and I knew it was because you hated losing. <laughs> but I don't tell anyone, but I am really competitive otherwise. You are so competitive. I, I don't think I'm that competitive. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not like... I'm not a bad loser. I'll be surprised if I win something, so... Yeah, same. I'm, I'm not like an overly competitive person. No. Nor am I. Not one of those people that always have to make a challenge out of everything, but... Oh, no. Oh, we should do something about our star signs, that's fun. Okay. Do you know much about star signs? No. Right. But my do you know if you're a true well, Leo then? No, but my friend thinks I'm, I'm born on the 22nd of August, and that's the day that Leo star sign ends. So my friend thinks I'm more of a... V Virgo, that's the Virgo. I've after. got friends of Amy's a Virgo and Amelia's a Virgo, and I they're like really chanceless and like, yeah. and like perfectionist and yeah. like organized. Um, yeah, and when I read things, I mostly re relate to Virgo than Leo, so uh -huh. I think that's kind of interesting. You might be a cusp, whatever it's called, like that you're both of them half half, kind yeah. of. Because I've, I've read Leos are like really fixated in looks and stuff and they love themselves. They're like, like the centre oh. of attention and stuff. I hate being the centre of attention. I like... If you were born on the Leo Virgo cusp, you're fierce, intelligent and courageous. You can charm anyone with your childlike <laughs> charisma <laughs> Child and you, you're loyal to the ones you trust. If you're thrown off one way or another, you may end up showing your dramatic know-it-all side. Oh. Yes, you're very smart and observant, but it's your responsibility to be humble. Oh. Try not to <laughs> go around correcting others and showing off your big brain. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a know-it-all. I don't have much common sense at all. Oh. <laughs> Same. Weakness. Critical, stubborn, quarrelsome, controlling, rude, manipulative. <laughs> oh, no. I'm an... Aries, but first of all, I was like, oh, I'm not at all like an Aries. But like, the more I look into it, 
I've got some qualities of an Aries, but not all of them because I don't know, they're quite feisty and I'm not very feisty. Wait, <laughs> feisty. <laughs> Aries trait spontaneous, daring, active, courageous, and energetic. Negative, headstrong, excitable, selfish, reckless, jealous, fiery, unsettled. Hmm. <gasps> I've got even more on me. I need to throw this in the wash like ASAP. Rocky. Who annoys your parents the most? Honestly, I think you do. Really? You annoy mum because you never reply. Because I never reply. And because you can never save, you can look after the dogs and I always can save. But that's that. because you've got a car. Yeah. I thought you annoyed mum more because you're what? more messy than I am. Nah. And she hates mess. And you can never tell when dad's annoyed, really. He rarely gets annoyed. Yeah. Or he doesn't show it. I think he talks shit about us behind our backs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Which free foods do you both love? Free? Mm, yeah. Hey, I love all free food. <laughs> Sushi? Well, I don't love it. Did I you hear my joke? Like, what did I you love say? all free food. <laughs> oh. I like halloumi burgers. Thai food? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that side of yours looks nice. I think this side of mine looks tragic. I think yours looks nice side of mine. So we'll let you know who won on the poll. We're going to put an Instagram poll out. But also, if you want more videos with me and Sophie, then request uh, video ideas. It's currently 8.35 yeah. and we, me and Sophie both kind of thought Sophie's would win. That one. No. What? Is it that one? No, mine was winning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I like that one, but I like the end on that one. I wouldn't want that one. I didn't even candy show cane. the end on mine. Yeah, look, no. I got candy cane on that. So we're in Wagon Mamas now, but we're going to check who won the competition. Is it, is it my? I think my one won. Yes, mine got 57%. Sophie's got. Okay, so my mine got 379 votes. And Rebecca's got 490 votes. So it was pretty close, but I still won. Thank you guys. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>